Hey everyone, Parker with The Culture Project here and today we're going to be talking about how you talk to yourself. So I used to have an imaginary friend named Roger. He was a pretty cool guy. We hung out a lot. He was a firefighter. He owned a dog and he lived in an envelope, which still to this day I can't really explain how or why, but he did. And so my parents would often see me talking to thin air and they'd ask me, what are you doing? And I'd say, talking to Roger. And that's cute. And as cute as it was, they knew though that I wasn't talking to a firefighter who owns a dog who lives in an envelope. So most of us don't have imaginary friends anymore, but I would say that most of us probably still talk to ourselves as we go throughout our days. Sometimes we talk to ourselves inside, sometimes we have that conversation out loud. A couple of things that I've heard people say to themselves out loud are, I'm not very good at this. Man, I look like a rat today. Thanks for saying that, but I know it's not true. I've heard people say things like that and worse even to themselves. And it begs the question, how do you talk to yourself? And so why do we do this? Maybe we do it because we want to beat people to the punch and we think that everyone else can see our flaws, so I just want to say it and worsen the blow. Or maybe we actually legitimately believe it. Maybe we honestly think that we're not good. Maybe sometimes we even think that, oh, I'm being virtuous, I'm being humble if I'm speaking down to myself. But the truth is that negative self-talk, immoderate self-deprecating humor, that's not virtuous. It's not even the truth. God has a much different word to say about our lives. You know, in the beginning, we can see in the book of Genesis how God creates everything. He creates the whole world. And he looks at all of his creation. He says, behold, it is very good. In fact, once he even makes us human beings, he says, behold, it is very good. You see, God looks at you and he says, behold, you are very good. So if God himself wouldn't even say those things that you say about yourself, why would we dare say that about ourselves as well? In a way, it's almost like calling God a liar. That if God looks at us and says, you are very good, you are my beloved, with you I am well pleased. But then we look at ourselves and we say, well, thanks for saying that, but I know that's not true. Well, who are we going to believe? Are we going to believe the one in whose image and likeness we are made? Or are we going to believe ourselves who are so often wounded and broken. And so I think there's a couple of practical steps that we can take if we want to cut out the negative self-talk and actually live in the truth of who we are. First practical step would be to turn that frown upside down. That whenever we have bad habits, we need to replace them with other habits if we're ever going to make any progress. And so a good habit we can start to get into is for every bad thing you catch yourself saying about yourself, say three good things in its place. The second step would be to receive compliments well. When somebody gives you a compliment, how do you normally respond? Next time somebody gives you a compliment, don't try to deflect, don't try to run away from it, don't try and just compliment them back, but actually just say, thank you for saying that, I really appreciate it. The third and last practical tip that I'll offer is to hear the truth from the source. That if we're not spending time in prayer, hearing the voice of the Father say to us the same way that he said to Jesus at his baptism, this is my beloved son or daughter in whom I am well pleased, well then, we're never truly going to believe it in the core of our being. Just take some time, it could be 15-20 minutes, just to sit in silence, recollect your thoughts, aim them towards God, and just say the simple prayer, Lord, show me what you think of me. You are not who they say that you are. You are not who the enemy says that you are. You are not who the evil one who will often try to whisper these lies in your heart says that you are. Right? Let the Lord remind you who you are.